The months-long build-up of Russian troops on the border with Ukraine has turned now into an invasion. Ukraine under attack. Military bases, airports and aircraft have been targeted and bombed. Six days after Russia began its invasion, we had a team heading to Ukraine in the lane we know best. Going to war zones where few organizations are able to go. In the days and weeks that followed, our team would meet with thousands displaced by the conflict. Descending into the small nooks, basements, and subway lines where families hid and parents comforted their children amidst the sound of explosions above. And finding those waiting for the next available bus or van as they adjusted to a new life on the run with only what basic possessions they could carry with them. We were inspired by brave communities of volunteers who stayed behind to make sure the hungry were fed and those wishing to escape had an avenue out. We were equally blown away by the generous expression of solidarity our community showed, going above and beyond to fuel our relief response in Ukraine. Literally fueled. You paid for gas and bought vans to help at-risk families on the front lines of the conflict escape to relative safety. You enabled our team to shop for supplies, distribute medicine, and deliver groceries to local partners who were packing food parcels, cooking meals, and feeding the hungry as the shadow of conflict swept across the country. Не, ну сейчас стали же возить волонтеры все привозят. Сейчас все нормально. Ага. То было плохо, что ничего. Ну, вот нас Еды. газа нету. Ага. Вода только техническая. У нас Потрогу на первом газ. этаже она. Ну, до второго ага. бывает добывает. А так ничего нет. Ага. Ни магазинов, ничего у нас тут нет. То тоже стала гуманитарка, да, стало нам лучше. 57,378 people helped. You were there with us. With them because the war zone is our workplace and because kids shouldn't suffer when the adults are fighting. Five months on from when the missiles began raining down, more support is reaching those who remain. Large organizations have established stable operations, providing relief to Ukrainians affected by the fighting. We did what we came to do. The gap between conflict starting and the arrival of large-scale help was filled. We worked alongside affected communities, found those who slipped through the cracks, reminded children and families in their darkest hour that they hadn't been forgotten.